All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today it is another small block Mopar head porting video. This is kind of a part one deal here. These heads, as ugly as they are, are still very usable. And the majority of that is around the seat there. Seat seat so i'm working with ed at ed's machine on this and i uh, i think i'm basically going to uh, start the port work and he will get them replace any seats and guides uh, anything that it needs and finish the actual valve job because they'll probably end up with a i assume a three angle or five angle on intakes and whatever on the exhaust you'll have to check his channel out for that my job today is going to be I want to go ahead and get this stuff ported up so I can get them to him so he can do his part of the action on this and we're going to do something kind of trick on the valves so hopefully you can see this I just lightly marked the throat here I got it scored all the way around our seat would be you know way up here but I'm uh actually going to ask ed to go ahead and finish out the seat area and any blending there into my port job uh because you know it he he's going to dictate this size later uh with his seat and guide machine he also can have a cutter in here that cuts and we might end up also unshrouding here as well uh, it's all part of a kind of performance valve job i've got my vacuum cleaner stuck in and my magnetic flashlight just hanging into there so I can do it, see a little bit. But uh, My first step, I think I'm going to go ahead and open up the throat, blend it into my line nicely. Then I'm going to start on our guide. Same old stuff you've seen in other videos, but uh, I want to knock these down as well, making it transition. And I may give it the wing here. I want to study some more on it. Uh, I've seen videos of guys that take it all the way smooth and flat so it'll have more of a swirl. I've seen other ones that uh, kind of give you the little bit of dovetail there. So we'll see. I wanted to mention to those at home, I'm not hogging this throat out great big um, with the current uh, 188 valve, which we're going larger than. Um, I'm basically taking it out to 89%. So it'll decrease from that whenever the larger valve goes in and ed finishes those angles so don't think what i'm doing today is a permanent deal or anything i'm just kind of starting the way into the port so i can do some more transition stuff so i'm doing them all at that it'll be like i said 89 percent now when he does the larger valve uh, it will decrease that zone so here is intake number one and if you compare it to that i think it's a lot better I still, I'm getting confirmation on whether or not I should go ahead and shave that all the way down. I found the Dulcich videos online and they say his picture did look like that's gone, but also like maybe he had taken a lot of the guide out here. And I don't typically like to do that because uh, I'd rather the valve have a lot of uh, strength when it's coming in and out. So... I might be pretty close to finish with this part. My bowl did end up being nice and large. You can still see my line, my little tiny line there, just barely, barely. And again, uh, Ed may want to go ahead and cut that a little, little more, a little more centered with his actual machine. But I kind of got a good blend going on into there. I may run through here some more, but. I think the majority of flow is coming from that way and kind of turns in like that. So I popped out our intake that's going to go with these heads on that engine. I wanted to go ahead and start kind of figuring it. You can see the ports are kind of goofy looking, uh, like widened out in the center and narrow on top and bottom. Maybe they, I don't know, no idea. Maybe they think that helps flow or something. I have no idea. Um, but these are my probably my most favorite gaskets to use the 12 13 fail pros and you can also get them with a s and it'll have a little steel core inside so i think my plan is going to be 
for push rod pinch or pinch, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, I'm mostly doing the top two thirds on both sides. I might clean up just a shade there, there and there, but uh, I don't, I'm not looking for mega gains and flow of all that. But I'm not going to gasket match this intake because I don't think I'll be able to actually gasket match this. If you can see our faint line goes all the way out to here. I don't really see a, a necessity to grind this all the way out where the push rod pinch will be directly inside of that. And there's no way in the world I could bring the pinch out to here without somehow sleeving or tubing uh, the push rod holes. So I'm not doing all that business. That's that's like uh, next level Steve Dulcich stuff. I'm, I'm trying to give it a nice, clean, simple port job. So let's keep going. I got my vacuum actually over here. I could have blew this one up, but I don't think I'm even actually going to get into these later in life. Uh, I will actually have to match the intake to the head port, even though I'm not really opening them up very much. So, our push rod pinches are much, 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 much better. And I went ahead and went up to the top just because it only took me a few more minutes. A few minutes here, a few minutes there. Um, and went ahead and just worked that wall all the way around as far as my bit would reach there. Then I swapped to my long egg bit here. And what I'm going to do now, if I can shine the light correctly... I have laid my pick on top of a spot that we're gonna target. There we go. So I'm saying, as the air comes in, that spot right here, I'm gonna knock it down some, go ahead and open it up. And that way we can blend it further in to that side. Go ahead and open that wall up. We don't wanna get into a water jacket at all. And we can do the same thing on this side. See how prominent that is? And we'll bring her on around and blend her in there. I'll do that on all four. And uh, should be getting pretty close then. You can see the difference in guides. There we go. There's the one that I cut already. There's big chunky. So there they are side by side. And that one still needs a little more love. But I kind of went back and forth from side to side just to smooth everything up. You can still see some of the little rough casting through here. Uh, but I tried to make a nice little kind of dovetail thing there just to meet up like the fancy people on TV do. Uh, and I finished this off with a, a 80 grit cartridge roll. So it's still pretty rough. You can still just faintly see my line here and there. And a piece of it right there. So... I think it's going to be good to go, especially, I mean, he's cutting new seats or cutting these and driving new seats in. Um, so I think our throat area is going to be nice, especially when we go to that larger valve I was mentioning. 
Let me get you a different angle here, maybe. You can kind of see where I knocked off that uh, kind of high blemish spot there. Big. It's it's casting all of them, but as a comparison, there we go. That's not a bad improvement, is it? I did go ahead and do that. Uh, I did all of my push rod pinches, so it's not as much gain. You can't actually see the side-by-side -side gain right now, uh, but you can in the deeper port stuff. There we go. Big chunky guide brought on down to here. Uh, I'd call that better. Way better than that. Come on. And I don't have a flow bench to test this. I thought about sending it out to get it flowed, but I think these heads weigh, uh, was it 52 pounds a piece or something? So paying the money to get them flowed and ship them somewhere costs more than the head is worth. So anyway, what else can we do? I think I'm calling my intakes done. I think they're all pretty uniform. It's kind of bad lighting here. Let me lean you back a little. So basically I tried to get my, set my little tail up there to match the opposite side. And I just brought the guide down, way on down because it was huge. Hey, look at there. And down the line, good old cast iron starting to rust already. I'm sure y'all can let me know how I did in the comments, but I think it's gonna flow a lot better than it was. And you can still see my very, very faint marks here where I had marked earlier for my throat. So I didn't take any of those out too big. I know these seats look terrible. Um, and I'm zooming in on them so Ed can see them closer. But I have sent him pictures and he's confident that uh, it's no step for a stepper. So he will be the man on that deal. Um, I also knocked this down less uh, in the chamber because he explained to me that when he cuts the new seat and it goes in, that's actually part of the seat sticking up. So he does not want me to cut that down. If it needs to cut down, he can do that later. So that's all good. I'm just gonna do exhaust pretty quickly. Uh, I can knock the, knock the top off my guide. Uh, clean up some flashing in there and then those are humps right here which are actually in the roof of the port now you can see it right here so we're going to just knock that off kind of smoother out some all the way across if you want to see uh, more small block Mopar head porting videos check out Charles sir video on the Mission Impossible 318 I've been stealing as many principles as I can here from him but I'll let you watch me play with the port, then we'll come back when this head is done. You can see, here's how I left the other side. So all I'm doing now is just meeting from here to there. And I want you to see where the original cutter went in. It left this giant shoulder right there. What I'm doing is bringing it down to about 
what I would guess to be 60 thousandths here. I don't want to take it. I'm not taking it all the way away and blending that all the way into this. Uh, as far as I know, we are using the uh, stock exhaust valves. So I don't want to go too wide on that. But also, again, Ed's cutting this out. Probably doing new seats on a lot of these. You see how nasty that is. Pretty terrible. This one looks better. So I've basically done all I'm going to do. You can see where it went down to here. See, that's still just slightly wide. I'm fine with that. Uh, really, really faint line here. I may dial it back just a hair. And this wall, I worked more uh, to where it could get the straight shot out on the side of the port. And I can do the same over here. And boom and boom. So they kind of mirror each other. So I'll actually work that one and that since you can see the, the low here. Uh, but I'm pretty much done with this except I'm going to hit it with my cartridge roll. I might take my uh, little crazy spinners and run in and out just to even up the bowl. But let me do my cartridge roll first and clean up that ugly casting. Here's our valve side. And I just did my best to bring the guide on down, open up through here. I did not take it out past my marks. You can kind of faintly see through here. There you go. And just gave that a nice little tail in. And as we move on down, see I didn't get it in too deep into here. It's still got some flashing. Brought it on around, try to tighten that up real nice. And that's it. So, I don't think I hurt these small blockheads too bad, and they still need a lot of love. So, it's up to Ed at Ed's machine to get them finished up for us. They should make a really nice set of heads. I know he's going to uh, resurface them, get all this old nastiness out, also clean up around our chamber some more. Uh, new springs, check the guides, and our bigger, for sure, bigger intake valves. So I think they'll make a nice set once it's all over with. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you next time.